What is ECFMD certification? Medical schools outside the US and Canada vary in their educational standards. So the purpose of ECFMD certification is to assess whether graduates of these schools are ready to enter US residency and fellowship programs that are accredited by the Accreditation Council of Graduate Medical Education. This is an effective screening for ensuring IMGs have met minimum standards. To be certified by ECFMG, you must complete the application for the ECFMG certification, plus a series of exams such as USML Step 1, USML Step 2 CK, and fulfill ECFMG's medical education credential requirements. What you need to do to be a ECFMG certified? To be certified by ECFMG, you must complete the application for the ECFMG certification, pass a series of exams such as USML Step 1, Step 2 CK, and fulfill ECFMG's medical education credential requirements. These requirements include providing ECFMG with the copies of your medical education credentials. ECFMG will verify these documents directly with your medical school. Why would you want to be certified by ECFMG? You want to be certified by ECFMG for three reasons. First of all, if you wish to enter an ACGME accredited residency or fellowship program in the US, ACGME requires that you are certified by the ECFMG before you can enter the program. Secondly, you must be certified by ECFMG if you wish to take the step three of the three steps of USMLE. And finally, ECFMG certification is also one of the requirements to obtain an unrestricted license to practice medicine in the US. What applications are available through interactive web applications or commonly known as IWA? You can use interactive web application to complete the application for the ECFMG certification and to apply for the USMLE Step 1 or Step 2 CK exam. If you are already registered for the exam, you can use IWA to request an extension of your eligibility period. We will talk later about eligibility period and how to extend it. What is the application for ECFMD certification? The application consists of an online application and the certification of identification form or commonly known as Form 186. It requires applicants to confirm their identity, contact information, and graduation form or enrollment in a medical school that is listed in World Directory of Medical Schools. There should also be a note stating medical school meets ECFMD's eligibility requirements. Is there a fee for the application for ECFMD certification? Yes, there is a fee to submit the application for ECFMD certification. Currently, the fee is $160, US which is up from last year. What are the exam fees? The current fees for the USMLE Step 1 and Step 2 CK is $985. US in addition, there is international test delivery surcharge, but no test delivery surcharge for the US and Canada testing reason. That means if you select any reason other than the US and Canada, you must pay that fee of $180 for Step 1 and $200 for Step 2 CK. This surcharge is in addition to the examination fee. What is eligibility periods? So this is a 3 month period you want to appear in USMLE Step 1 or Step 2 CK exam. You need to select your preferred eligibility period during the application. Here you can see a sample. So to obtain the chosen eligibility period, ECFMG must receive your online part of the application, verification from your medical school of your graduate or student status or any other required documents. By the way, if you find this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel, like this video and turn on the notification bell icon so that you do not miss any of my new videos. Now let's get back to the video. Please keep in mind that the application processing must be completed by the 25th day of that eligibility period. So if your application is not processed in time by CFMG, you will be assigned to the next available eligibility period and this is based on the date your application is processed. As for example, your earlier selected eligibility period was on July, August, September. But for any reason, ECFMG could not complete your application on the 25th July, so you would be automatically assigned to August, September, October periods. Your eligibility period will also be mentioned on your schedule permit. How to request to extend Step 1 or Step 2 CK eligibility period? 
So in my last video, I mentioned eligibility period, which is a three month period when you will appear in step one or step two CK exam. But for any reason, maybe you are not well prepared. Maybe you are sick or any family issue. You may request a one time extension, but that extension follows the rule. You cannot choose any three months you want. It must be the next three months from your last eligibility periods and will not overlap your already assigned eligibility periods. And if you are new to this channel, my name is Paul and international medical graduate. In this channel, I am uploading videos every week for those pursuing medical career in the US and Canada. If you find these videos helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel, like this video and turn on the notification bell icon so that you do not miss any of my new videos. This means a lot to this channel. Now let's get back to the video. Here you can see as for example, your initial three months were July, August, September. Once you request for the extension, it will be October, November and December. In addition, you can request an extension only after your original eligibility period has begun. That means for your original July, August, September periods, you cannot request an extension in the month of June. And the process must be completed by the published deadline. Here you can see all the published deadline for the year 2022. Now, how can you request an extension? You can do it through interactive web application. It has two parts, online part and the student or graduate status verification that is Form 183E. If you want to know more details of Form 183, I have one video on that. You can click the link in the description below. Please keep in mind, ECFMG must receive both the online part and the certification statement form in order to process your request. And as I said earlier, the processing must be completed by the published deadline or it will be rejected. Lastly, I would say plan your exam when you feel you might appear in the exam, not just choose randomly. If you already have your assigned eligibility period, target for the first month. For any reason, if you cannot make it, you have the option to move to the second month. Then maybe on the third month as the last option so that you do not need to request an extension. And I forgot to mention, it also comes with a cost. The current fee is 100 US dollars. Finally, for any reason, if you do not take your step 1 or step 2 CK exam during your original or extended eligibility period, or if you are unable to extend your eligibility period, you must reapply by submitting a new application and fees. So please plan accordingly. It will save a lot of time and money. That's all for today. If you have a particular question, please comment down below. Again, please subscribe to my channel, like this video. Thank you so much for watching.